Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sitting in an F-16 on the Amendola airbase, armed with uh, six Mavericks, four Amrams, going for the close air support, yeah, close air support near Rogir North, which is basically the uh, Zadar or split, split airfield, sorry for that split airfield. So my goal is to uh, destroy some of the engineering equipment onto the split airfield so they will be uh, or they will they won't be able to repair their runway and airfield as quickly as before so just to slow down their pace Panther 1-1 one, one. request clearance for departure Panther 1-1 one, one. Amidola power position and hold runway 2-9 my F-16 should be quite light during this flight, although I'm carrying like six, Amra uh, six Mavericks. They are not so heavy, therefore I think I might be much more effective Panther than in one one. previous Amidola flights. Power. You are cleared for takeoff. Runway 29. Depart heading 200. Okay, depart heading 200, so let's Amidola take off. Power. Position and hold. I have like uh, one wingman, one element. So, three aircrafts in this uh, flight. We'll see how this goes. Altitude, 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 Let's slightly slow down to allow my my wingmans to catch me up. Three, air one. Okay, three also in the air. That is great. Let's switch to steer point Panther, two. One, two. Amidola, departure. Resume own navigation. I hope I'll be able to launch all these uh, six Mavericks during one pass over the enemy base. I will stay, uh, I, or, or at least I will try to stay in uh, in 15,000 feet. I do not want to fly lower. And I'm not carrying the external fuel tank so let's set up a slightly higher bingo fuel warning so I will be notified much earlier <coughs> excuse me Okay, situation seems to be nice and clear so far. I'm still somewhere in the middle of Adriatic Sea. Still before the steer point 2. Okay, somewhere 
behind the middle. Like the two two thirds are already behind me, so somewhere here. It's usually the middle of this paper. Okay, I've just crossed steer point number two. I'm already flying to steer point number three. Let's check out the situation. Panther one chalice one nearest threat May twenty nine bearing zero seven five sixty miles twenty five thousand. Okay, sixty miles still okay. That's the closest bandit. Okay, let's switch to steer point four already, which is like thirty-five miles ahead, and it's already the uh, split airbase. There's somewhere in the distance. So maybe I'd be able to attack it just before the MiG 29s close enough to me. Chalice 1, Panther 1-1. One, one. Request vector to threat. Panther 1, Chalice 1. I don't have any targets. Okay, so they are pretty much away. Let's go and check the situation. I'm going to say weapons free for my uh, one, weapons free. for my wingmans. Two, welcome. Three. I'm still very far from the base, but I can see already some of the let me make it like this. Here are the engineering squads. It's like this line. They're lying, like I'm moving my cursor. So you can see there's a column of engineers and another column like this. Plenty, plenty of targets over there. I'm going to focus on these guys here on the airfield. That's the priority for me. Now they disappeared. Interesting. Okay, they appeared again. <laughs> you can see the runway, how it is like cut into few pieces. There is some terrain wave for sure and it's displaying like this on the, uh, on the Maverick screen. Okay, still unable to lock them, locking some parts of the runway of the... Okay, it's starting to work like this. This 3000 feet is too much, maybe I'm going to fly a little bit lower. Okay. Locked. Now let's just wait for the range of the uh, Maverick. I'm way too high, therefore distance will be complicated. Okay, slowly getting into the range. SA-6 active? Like where? No way. Rival. 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 Rival.
Oh, it's going for me. Whew. That was close. I gonna sleep. I was worried till the last, <laughs> last, last moment. Okay, let's switch to the uh, visual. I need to, or I would like to take down this uh, SA6 launcher somewhere on the, on the hill, behind the base. Oh, there it is. Rival. And another launch from here, from the ground. There is some SA-13 or something like that. Oh, it was close as well. <laughs> I was lucky this time. Let's fly away. There's no point to be here any longer. Phew, great. Okay, I made it. Okay. Airman down. Airman down. Too far, one, too far for me. Miles. Number two ejected. Number three, there is no more number three. So as you can see the circle over the target. SA6 active there, so I should have taken the the harm, but I didn't know that uh, the harm is still the uh, SA6 is still active here. Shouldn't be. They definitely uh, moved some other unit here. I was on the split airfield many times, and it was already destroyed. So, as you can see, that's the that's the magic of the dynamic campaign, where you uh, destroy some systems on specific airfield, then you destroy the airfield, and then if you if you go there. On the other day, there is a new active SA-6. And just because I'm always destroying just the uh, just the radars, that's enough to uh, to uh, to destroy or to disable the SA-6. So you can see that it is enough for the enemy just to bring the bring new radar into this area, just to connect it to the old launchers, and they are good to go again. So that's it. Okay, let's fly home. Chalice one, Panther one one, picture. Panther one one, Chalice one, picture is multiple groups. Nearest Panther bearing three two zero, sixty miles, twenty six thousand. Okay, sixty miles, too far away from me. You can see that if you are using some uh, standoff weapons, you are pretty much good to survive without any problems even though there is uh, like active SA6 in the area but you have to be really careful not to get over the airfield like uh, my number two and number three were doing so it's this AI in this game which is trying always get more and more involved okay so let's use the time compression this will be Pretty boring flight back home without any anything whatsoever. Oh, just one contact here. Quickly check it. Chalice one, Panther one one, declare. Panther one one, Chalice one, contact is friendly. Okay. Chalice one, Panther one one, request vector to threat. 
Okay, no targets, no air targets in the area. As you can see, the situation evolves like uh, the Adriatic Sea is pretty calm already. But there are still enemies on the on the other side of the Adriatic Sea. But the Adriatic Sea is free to. It's like a non-fly zone, basically. Okay, let's go for the landing. Panther 1-1, one, one, descend to 2000, maintain 290 knots, turn left heading 170. And this is the situation how I remember the uh, Falcon uh, campaigns, basically just the first day or one and a half day basically there is something going on in the air. Panther 1-1, one, one, descend to 2000, maintain 260 knots. And very soon there is like no no enemies in the air, just because of the power of the, let's say, western technology. You are pretty much always able to beat uh, the old Russian mix Suhois without any problems. Oh, without any problems. <laughs> you saw my previous altitude, videos where, altitude. like, when they are equipped with R-77s, R-77s, R M's, you might be in a trouble if there is, like, uh, multiple bandits at once, so you cannot uh, fire all, all of your AMRAMs at once, you have to always wait. You have to always wait until the previous uh, missile goes pitbull on the enemy, so one, one. that's Descend it. To 2000. Maintain 200 knots. Turn right heading 185. Vectors to final. Runway 29. 185, okay. Altitude almost good. Now let's just reduce the speed. So Falcon 4 is mostly about uh, ground targets destruction in the later parts of the campaign. Basically the campaign... Panther 1-1, one, one. turn right to final approach course, 290, check speed. The campaign goes for 5 to 12 days usually. And <laughs> sometimes you can also fly like 20 days until the uh, final goals are, are reached. So. I love like longer campaigns and usually if there is no like enemies in the air you, you are pretty much able to do anything with the ground targets without any any problems. So as there is no enough uh, bandits in the air I have to focus on the some systems now and the artilleries and after that we will be pretty much able to use laser guided bombing all day long and for that purpose it's definitely better to use like uh, for the seed missions maybe I'm gonna take the uh, Hornet advise, aircraft bearing 360, miles, good morning Panther 1-1 one, one. Amidola power cleared for landing runway 29 tech gear down just because he is able to carry like uh, six harms and for the laser bombing I may be gonna jump back to the Eurofighter Typhoon just because he can carry lots of uh, laser guided bombs gear is down, okay Sentry 2, advise hostile aircraft bearing 345, 160 miles, 10,000. So, as you can see, you are able to do some mission in like 20 minutes. No problem for that if you are using like the time compression. 
I'm always jumping with the aircraft. Which is not good, definitely. Sentry 2, be advised, hostile launch activity detected, bullseye, 110, miles. Panther 1-1, one, one. Amidola, power, taxi clear of the runway. I'm suspicious that the girl on the tower is waiting, just watching me from the tower, waiting until I start uh, getting away from the runway, and then uh, she is telling me that I should go out of the runway. Okay, so let's see the outcome of the mission. So I was okay, five air, air ground kills why just five because my third maverick missed so this mdk 2d these are the engineering squads and then i destroyed this grass it was just the truck on the hill which i was targeting and the last one was the sa6 launcher at the water basically it was the last one so i was hoping that uh i will hit with uh one Maverick, at least two or three guys. It's always nice to see that, but uh, not in this flight, basically. Okay. I'm satisfied with this uh, result. So, so many enemies now in the area. Let's save it. So still a few guys here. Maybe I should go and destroy some of these uh, ships here. Let me check the, is it the SA-6. No, oh, it's SA-3. Let's build a new mission for destroying this frigate group. F-16, MLU, let's take just two aircrafts. Uh, strike, strike, strike. Target... Uh, Oh, there is no way how to select proper target, so this will be naval strike, finally, okay, now it's, it's correct. Second frigate task force, two ship aircraft or two ship formation, naval strike, okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Why bombs? Oh my god. Let's take this G Mavericks. They are bigger and heavier than the other variants. And let's use the. Oh, maybe let's take also some C4s. That's okay. So, quite a lightweight, very low drag factor, quite a lightweight loadout. Just one quick fly there and quick flight back. Maybe I should be able to... Oh, no, no way. I will be taking off like one hour later, so these guys will be already home. Maybe I should extend my... six waypoint. We are success enough with these uh, frigates. I can attack these Osa boats as well. 
like this. Okay. I was thinking that the Gypsy, three. Let's go home. enemy aircrafts are already disabled three, and looks five. like I was <laughs> I was mistaken. Uh, okay. okay, let's save it. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I will I will fly this uh, naval strike in my next video. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.